Okay, so what it do, baby? <laughs> what am I even doing today? I can't remember. <laughs> Let's get started, okay? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sunscreen review. I'm thinking about making this a reoccurring weekly thing since I like to try a lot of new sunscreens and I recently purchased uh, like six sunscreens from Yes Style. Um, <laughs> okay, so the sunscreen I'm going to be reviewing today is by COSRX. It is the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream in SPF 50. And with Asian sunscreens, the they don't go by broad spectrum like we do in the United States and a lot of Western countries. They go by the pluses. So the, the pluses next to the PA, those, um, the more pluses you have, the stronger the chemical filter is in it. So this has three pluses. That's pretty strong. I see um, a lot of sunscreens that have three pluses or four pluses. So this is a good range in my opinion. Let me just read the description for you real quick. It says formulated with aloe extract. Uh, this sun cream protects skin against UVA and UVB ray rays while still hydrating the skin. One thing I noticed about this sun cream in particular is how fresh and rejuvenated my skin looked after using it and you see what this this is in fact a cream it's going to feel much more like a western sunscreen because it is very thick most asian sunscreens i know have gel like consistencies they're very light a lot of them can be used as primers uh in a way if you i don't use heavy primers on my skin a little uh, some sunscreens can act like a little bit of a primer and I think a lot of Asians think sunscreens like to do that but you can see like it just I don't have a white cast it sinks into the skin very quickly I did go on to yes style where I purchased this sun sunscreen to look at comments to see if anyone is of a darker skin tone and how they reacted with this um, a lot of people say they did not get white cast with this product. So as always, take that with a grain of salt, you know, uh, but if you are of a darker skin tone, then I think you could be okay with this product. Yeah, it just feels so light on the skin. Like I'm very smooth. I feel very hydrated. I'm wearing it right now. It wears great underneath makeup. Uh, the one thing I do like about Asian sunscreens over Western sunscreens is that the chemical filters in the Asian sunscreens are much more stable. Although they are not approved by the FDA, that doesn't mean there's something wrong with the ingredients. Uh, the FDA is about 20 years overdue on updating the their charts for ingredients that are okay to be put into sunscreens but one thing i noticed with a lot of western sunscreens is that when i apply to the face my face gets uh very sensitive to it there's a little bit of irritation a little bit of tingling as well my cheeks will get especially red and one thing i notice as well as if i put something that's too harsh on my face my right eye specifically waters constantly throughout the day it will not stop watering that's why i don't like to wear a lot of heavy eye makeup on as well uh, but with asian sunscreens like this one for example i don't get watery eyes at all i i don't i've never experienced it with asian sunscreens the main selling ingredient in this sunscreen is that it has aloe vera extract so aloe juice <laughs> aloe vera has of course been used hundreds of years as a natural remedy for burns because it has such great anti-inflammatory properties. It is a great natural moisturizer if it's used properly. So I'm not talking about the aloe vera in this product specifically. I'm talking about if you have an aloe vera plant, you cut a leaf off and you put that aloe juice on your face. You want to use a very light layer of aloe vera because it is slightly exfoliating, exfoliating as well. And what I like to do personally, I don't suffer from breakouts, but if I do put aloe vera on and I leave it on overnight, uh, which I used to do, I would notice a few little white bumps, or not white bumps, a few little bumps around my chin area, which is where I would typically get a breakout if I was to break out. And I realized because aloe vera is slightly exfoliating, you want to use a very light layer of it 
uh, to get its beneficial properties, uh, which is uh, to moisturize the face and it uh, helps prevent fine lines and wrinkles. It doesn't reverse the signs of aging, but it can be a preventative measure from a natural source to prevent fine lines and wrinkles. Another thing I need to point out about this product is that it does contain alcohol and fragrance. They are, both ingredients are quite low on the ingredient list within this product, which means that they are at a lower concentration. However, if you are someone who has very sensitive skin, or if you're trying to just stick away from these two ingredients, you might want to stay away from this product. It does contain those. I, for one, am trying to lower the amount of products that have alcohol and fragrance in them. I don't think the scent is too strong. Um, it is, you can definitely smell it. It does go away after some time, but it smells very fresh, like, like uh, aloe and cucumber maybe. But of course, if you're trying to stick away from something like that, don't purchase this product. So about the brand COSRX, if you've never heard of them before, they are a brand from South Korea. They are cruelty free, which I love. I'm definitely trying to cut out uh, pro or brands that test on animals from my everyday consumption. And they like to focus on having very minimalistic packaging, as you can see, while offering a high concentration of active ingredients within the particular product that they are selling. So, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> in other words, they like to take out a lot of the crap, a lot of the fluff that's in skincare products. Um, and then they're just offering you the good uh, the active ingredients that they are selling for that one product, they're going to offer that to you. Another thing I like about them is that they're affordable. They're such an affordable skincare brand and they're so easy to find now. Uh, I know Ulta is selling uh, COSRX, which I love. You can get it, you can get COSRX on Soko Glam. You can get it on Yes Style. The finish after applying this product, it's not um, oily at all, but it will leave a certain sheen. Uh, it's a look of rejuvenation, in my opinion. A lot of sunscreens make me look oily, and this one doesn't. This one just gives me that glow, that youthful, that youthful glow that we all want. I would give it about like an seven or eight out of 10. I just loved how it made my skin look without makeup. And so that was the one thing. I don't know if you can see, I can see through the sun here, like how much of this product I've gone through. All right guys, so that is my review on COSRX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. Please subscribe, like, comment, you know, all that, all that goodness. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, bye. Thank you.